Who doesn't love the lazy way? In today's video, we're going over 30 surefire ways that take very, very minimal effort that could realistically take you from generating no income online to a couple of dollars online to over $200 a day. How does that sound? Who doesn't love the lazy way? Before we hop into it, if you're interested in grabbing a ton of free resources, I invite you to download our Subscribers to Sales Blueprint, which will be delivered to your inbox right away, and you'll be getting all of our great resources and tools to help you with YouTube and being profitable on this platform. So go ahead and grab that and smash that like button to give me a tip. And if that sounds good to you, let's get started. All right, so the first category that we are hopping into today is the arena of freelance writing, how to be a freelance blogger, how to write for magazines, how to write for brands, because no matter what language you speak, whether it's English or another language that is your native language, wait, <laughs> or really no matter what your native language is, freelance writing is amazing because it's a low barrier to entry to getting some jobs that pay anywhere from $50 per blog post to $400 per blog post. So we're gonna hop behind my computer and take a look at different freelance blog websites. These have been verified by other YouTubers, other freelance bloggers that have had experience with these websites. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so let's talk about it. The first website we're talking about is problogger.com. I did mention it in the last video, but I didn't go into it at all. If you're looking for uh, to become a freelance writer and to get that career going, this is a great option for you. Um, here's the actual blog of Pro Blogger. And as you can see, there's a lot of different marketing topics, um, you know, five tips from full-time bloggers, the power of being vulnerable with your readers. So a lot of articles with this type of flavor, how to uh, hire writers for your blog. And then if you were to go just come up here to jobs, you can see all of the jobs that are listed. So if you wanted to put in your like a keyword, maybe, I don't know, let's just say Instagram and see what comes up. Talented freelance social media manager. Help us with content creation for our clients. You can see what the criteria is. It's um, anywhere, so it's remote, a freelance job. And so you really want to read through the entire post because if you don't, it's very likely that your, uh, per, your pitch or proposal will go straight to the trash because people want to know that you are paying attention. That's fair, right? So that is pro blogger. And so the other thing I really like is that you can narrow down between freelance, contract, full-time, part-time. So maybe you do something or do want something a little bit more stable. You have the option here. So you can check out all of these different you know, titles and types. There's new jobs posted every day, which is also really cool. So definitely check out Pro Blogger for as a great option for freelancing. So this right here, Matador Creators, is a very interesting opportunity. Even if maybe you're looking to start your traveling career, if you're looking to be location independent or just travel, travel temporarily and work and get paid while you're doing it because Matador Creators, they have different paid gigs that are very interesting. You can get hired to go somewhere and write about your experience. Um, you can get hired for things that aren't even writing. Maybe they want, uh, there's a job that want people to do photography, to do filming and stuff like that. So, you know, like this, this is an interesting job. So Matador seeking a US based adaptive mountain bike athlete for a film project in North Carolina. So there's all types of different flavors on this website that are really cool and sound kind of adventurous. And like this one, I know it's closed now, but they're looking for a writer for a story on the most scenic train journeys in the UK. So that sounds super interesting. So if traveling sounds like something you want to do, this could be a great barrier to entry to get a job and to also have these cool opportunities to travel to different, you know, hotels or countries or do different experiences to talk about them, document them and to get paid for doing it. All right, so the next website is called Who Pays Writers. So this isn't necessarily a blog where you're gonna come and apply to be a writer. This is actually a bunch of anonymous sources that come to this website and they report how much, like right here, like USA Today, they pay um, 60 cents per word and it was paid in 15 days. So for 500 words, you get paid 
60 cents per word and you could just figure out how much these companies are paying which is actually really cool because then you can go to directly to the source and figure out what type of jobs they're hiring for and you know what type of things that you want to write for so this is a great great resource so you can figure out you know who pays what it's not secure keep that in mind and so um, just know that it is anonymous and so this is where you can come to find good resources on what type of jobs pay what okay so many of you actually know about linkedin linkedin is a gold mine for if you're wanting to get into writing because if if you didn't know i didn't know this until somebody told me but you can go and look up different freelance writing jobs in linkedin i highly recommend it so if you're on linkedin definitely check that part out okay and so for the next four websites we're talking about fiverr upwork freelancer and guru and you know you may be thinking i might support these websites but I'm here to say that they may not be the greatest option. Many people that I've talked to that have, um, that have had writing gigs on these websites say that it is just a content mole and there's just so much content and jobs out there. So it is a little bit more difficult to climb your way up and get those ratings. It's not impossible. There's still people that do it every day. But the problem is, is that the market on these websites is pretty saturated. And what happens is you get paid, let's say, $100. Uh, Upwork takes a cut of that. Your bank is going to take a cut of that. Then if you get paid with PayPal, they're going to take a cut Then transaction fees. And it's just so many fees. You're just like drowning in all these fees. It's like, what do you get left? Uh, or what's left after you get paid that $100? Maybe $50? I don't know. Because I think Upwork and Fiverr take a 20% cut, which is crazy. That's so much money. So I'm just saying, you know, if you've heard of these before and if you're interested in them, just proceed with caution and know about all the fees that you're gonna get um, hit with up front. One girl I do know does have a steady paying, just one, just one steady paying client on Upwork that pays like $900 a month for a reoccurring job. And so again, just be aware of the fees and just be aware of the rules that you'll have to follow with joining one of these websites. They're extremely popular. There's a lot of opportunity for jobs, but you will get hit with those fees. And just one more note before we dive back into the rest of the freelance writing websites, just keep in mind that your pitch is extremely important. So meaning you're gonna have to probably pitch the editors or you know when you apply for a job, it's important. So you just have to understand to get very personal to if you really want this job, you're going to have to go onto these websites and do your own research, subscribe to the newsletter, actually understand what their content is about. Follow them on Instagram and social media to get a, you know, a taste of how their branding is, their voice, who their audience is and stuff like that. So that when you go to pitch, it's like, okay, you're not just, you didn't just find the job online and, you know, s submit a generic application like you do to everyone else. You know, it's really important that you make these pitches personal so that your application can stand out above the rest. So that's what I have to say about pitching. And then let me tell you, here's the emails that go into the trash right away. Those companies that pitch me and they spell my name wrong, um, if I can tell if it's a generic email, like, hey, we love your YouTube channel. Okay, you probably love a lot of YouTube channels. What specifically do you love about mine? All right, and so if they tell me something like, man, I remember in a video you told your story about this X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, oh, so they actually, they actually give a damn. <laughs> so just, you know, a little bit of two cents about your pitch to these websites and um, applying for a blog post. And by the way, if you are looking to build a portfolio website and to have all of your projects, all of your work and have a quick way to show your body of work as a freelancer, whether you're a writer or another type of freelancer, go ahead and check out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to a previous video I made about creating a portfolio website. I'll leave that. It's a really great resource because if you're looking to take this freelancing career or side hustle or whatever you want to call it, an online business, seriously, you'll want a home for your body of work. And that is a great thing to include in your pitch if you are wanting to get into the freelance writing world. Let's talk about a category now called online hosting slash experiences. Back in the day, we all remember where we were 
so clearly when the pandemic hit and the World Health Organization was like, oh yeah, by the way, it's a worldwide pandemic. Everyone in quarantine, everyone to their house. You're like, wait a minute, wait, do I have enough groceries? Do I have enough toilet paper to survive this quarantine? Anyway, the point is all experiences that were in person, all activities that, you know, you had to go to a place and you had to be around a crowd just went down. And that means that the online hosting industry skyrocketed. And so I wanted to talk about a website called Airbnb, but not just Airbnb, but Airbnb experiences where let's say you have a skill or a talent that you want to teach. Maybe you want to teach dancing. Maybe you want to teach how to make cold brew coffee. Maybe you want to have a workshop on how to meditate. All of these things are possible now and Airbnb is really cool because that industry has also skyrocketed last year or you know over the past year and a half as we've been through the ups and downs of COVID-19. We've seen a skyrocket and increase not only in Airbnb experiences but now that experiences are coming back out to life and we're able to uh, leave our houses and actually participate. A lot of these people who had experiences in person now have both the option to have it online and in person. So it's really the best of both worlds, but I would highly suggest Airbnb experiences if you want to teach something or host some type of workshop online and also a website called Symposium. And Symposium is a very similar idea to Airbnb experiences. You can teach and entertain people live from the comfort of your home or from the virtual comfortness. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> is that even a word? But you get the idea. So those two websites for sure, if you're interested in hosting something or generating an income by sharing a skill or a talent to several people virtually. All right, so for the next website, if you know me, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Marissa Romero. Then, or really, if you've been following this channel, you know I talk about YouTube growth and monetization quite a bit. Um, it's one of my specialties and it's, you know, the direct way to work with me is, you know, joining our subscribers to sales program, which is where we teach YouTube. Starting a YouTube channel from scratch and leveraging that YouTube channel to build an online business and to scale that business. And the reason I bring it up is because if you combine YouTube with any one of these websites or applications that we're talking about today, it is game over. I'm talking about a game changer. It is life changing, okay? And there's so many ways to monetize this one website. It's 100% free to get started. You don't need any money. It's a platform where you can create your YouTube channel today for free and start uploading content and really make a big impact while making money and increasing your income. And so essentially, if you're interested in affiliate marketing, digital product creation, if you're interested in selling merch, if you're interested in doing live streaming, if you're interested in coaching, consulting, the list goes on and on and on. There's so many ways to monetize a channel. That is perfect because uh, YouTube alone is a website and a social media platform that has changed the game and is not going to stop changing the game for future creators and for future business owners. I mean, there's a reason why the biggest celebrities are going onto YouTube because they want to share value and really entertain and educate. And that's the name of the game. When you entertain, educate and give value, your income goes up. And just to give you an example of my particular channel, even when my channel was a baby, like when it was just at a thousand subs to 10,000 subscribers and it's not the channel you see today, it was still making me a full-time income. Can you believe that? Many people think that you can't make a full-time income if you are a small YouTuber. That's absolutely wrong and couldn't be further from the truth. There have been students in our program that just at around the 700, 800 subscriber mark, they were getting so much traffic to their products that they were able to be, you know, financially free. Essentially, they were able to fill their calendars with clients, bring in way more income than they have ever generated from paid advertising or any other types of efforts online. And so this channel alone was able to drive so much traffic to our funnel and organically produce a quarter million dollars. So that's, I mean, that's really cool. We've built up our company, you know, Team Marissa Romero to multiple six figures. It's really impressive and just with the power of YouTube. So if you're interested in learning how to do it correctly, how to set up a channel the right way the first time a channel that sells and keeps on selling 
evergreen forever, then go ahead and check out our masterclass. I'll leave it in the link in the description. It's all about the four step framework to building a wildly profitable channel. You don't want to miss it. It's a free training and content that I don't show anywhere else online. So you can go ahead and check it out later after this video. And so the next way to really crush it on YouTube and make money is with a digital course, a digital membership, something where you're packaging your knowledge and selling it in the form of a course. So maybe you're making different video modules to explain a process, to explain a repeatable process that you know has gotten results for clients or customers that you've worked with. Or maybe you've overcame a life situation and you're able to package that knowledge and help people solve the problem that they're having right now going through that same situation. So maybe for example, I think of a friend of mine who is a fertility coach and she's helped several women in their struggle to get pregnant, um, you know, doing certain things, you know, obviously besides the thing, but doing certain things to help them like, you know, diet and nutrition and other things that she had to go through to get pregnant successfully. And so the point is a digital course with the YouTube platform is in my opinion, one of the most profitable things you can do. And the great part about it is it's a low cost and it could be free to do. So it's virtually little, little to no upfront cost for you. And you create it once and you can sell it infinitely. There's no cap and there's no cost of good to how much you can sell this course. And I like talking about this because with our digital course, for example, we were able to cross six figures in just the course revenue alone within nine months of launching it. So that's how quickly your course sales can add up. And again, it's purely passive income once you create the course and create the module and launch it to your audience on YouTube. And I wouldn't get discouraged either if your YouTube channel is still small because Again, going back in time to when my YouTube channel was small and I launched my first mini course, it sold. It didn't sell as much as my course does now because I have more traffic, but it definitely sold and it was a great source of passive income to add to the Google AdSense, to add to the affiliate commissions and the other types of revenue that I was earning. So don't be afraid if don't think that, oh, I need X amount of views and subscribers to launch a course. No, there's people right now that would subscribe and pay for your course because they trust you and they want to learn from you and um, they trust in the process that you have to offer. Okay, so this next category of websites and apps, it's kind of like low hanging fruit, okay? And that is earning money for taking pictures of receipts and also rewards points. So there's several applications where you can monetize from just doing the daily average things that you have to do day by day. So I used to live in America my whole life. At the moment, I live in South America, and I'm assuming that most of you watching this video have to do this, and that is to fill up at the pump and get gas for your car. There's several applications where you can get rewarded for taking pictures of the gas prices of the gas station you're at because the goal of these apps is to inform people where are the lowest prices of gas around the city. So whether buying gas or buying groceries interests you or not, I guarantee that these applications are low hanging fruit to get gas back, oh, not cash back, <laughs> and also to earn some rewards points on the side and to save some money and get rewarded for helping people understand where they can get the cheapest food and the cheapest gas. And so the first application where you can get gas back is called Gas Buddy. You can sign up for free and then start taking pictures of your gas receipts. And also you can use the app Get Upside where you can do gas and grocery receipts. It's an app for both Apple and Android. And so these next few apps work the exact same way. They basically want actual data and consumer information from these receipts and they want people to scan their receipts. So the next application is called Ibotta, where it's again gas and grocery receipts, an application for Android and Apple, Receipt Hog, gas and grocery receipts as well. Checkout 51 is another free application where you can sign up and you can start scanning receipts for your groceries and earning money. Okay, so the next category of websites that we're talking about today has everything to do with digital assets, photos, and media. And that next website is called Shutterstock, where if you have a bunch of photos lying around, which you know you do, they don't even have to be from a 4K camera, a Canon, you know, all, any of these nice photos. But if you have good photos in your camera roll, 
and just stored somewhere that you're not making passive income from already, then I guarantee you, you'll want to put those photos on Shutterstock because people need these photos to use you know, in their own business. And the next website is called Envato Elements. Now Envato Elements, I personally love. There's so many digital assets on there from logos, uh, different video templates, animations, and you could even create things on there like presentation templates, whatever type of template you want in the video and photo world, it's on Envato Elements. So definitely you can be a contributor to an Envato Elements and start selling your digital, you know, photography images, logos, stuff like that, and start creating passive income from these digital assets. And the next website, if you're into audio, if you're a beat maker, if you like making music, you know, where, wherever your work, whether it's in an office or at home, I'm sure you've Googled like lo-fi beats, study music, music to concentrate, music to relax. So if you know how to create content-free music, Artlist.io is a great option for you where you can make a good amount of money. I know one YouTuber who was a beat maker and his audience and traffic has nothing to do with the traffic and the sales he gets on Artlist, but he made, I think, $10,000 in a year from all of his downloads. Now that's really cool to have an extra 10K a year just passively for a song or a beat that you just created one time. All right, so the next way to monetize a YouTube channel is with print on demand. And so this method should not be taken lightly. Now what is print on demand? If you're looking at my shirt and you see subscribers to sales, that is our course and program logo and it is printed on the shirt. So any design logo or something that you have that you wanna have printed on a shirt, a cup, a shower curtain, a towel, a pillow, that is what it's all about. And there's so many different companies out there that do print on demand, but the cool thing about YouTube is once you hit 10,000 subscribers, you can integrate Teespring, which is a platform where you can get started in selling shirts and designs for free. Um, and connect that to your YouTube channels. You could have it displayed right beneath a YouTube video. So I could do that if I wanted, but I'm not. But it doesn't matter what kind of print on demand store you have, you could have it on a third party platform and still put the link to your store and put the link to your merch and your products in your YouTube videos and sell that way. And so the cool thing is you have the YouTube platform and the SEO organic traffic going to these products. So maybe let's say you have a YouTube channel about art you're an artist, you love painting, and that's what your YouTube channel is about. You give art tutorials. You can very, very easily create an e-com store that has print-on-demand products on it with your art designs. How cool would that be? And you can sell it to people in the description in your video. So you can, you know, maybe you're doing a video about painting and you do a time lapse of you painting a picture and you're like, hey, if you think this picture is dope, go ahead and click on the link below and you can buy it on our print on demand store and Teespring, you can still set up the Teespring store and put the link to the specific product page of your Teespring store in the description. And back in the day when I used to do uh, e-commerce and print on demand, it is very, very profitable. You can easily crush a thousand dollars and make passive income with print on demand because you don't have to do any of the fulfillment the print on demand company does that and they're happy to do it and they fulfill it and send it to the customers so you don't have to worry about shipping and handling so now if you're interested in something with a little bit more substance let's talk about getting paid for your advice aka consulting so if you are interested in getting paid for your advice your professional advice something that you know i love this one this can realistically uh, replace the nine to five income you might be earning right now. It's not uncommon for you to start earning between $2,000 to $5,000 within the first couple months of doing this. So let's take a look at some of these websites where you can start your consulting career. Okay, so we're talking about consulting websites where you can get paid for the knowledge you have. If you go to just justanswer.com, this is a cool one where uh, consultants say they earn an average of 2K to 7K a month just for giving out their advice and it's free to sign up to apply to become an expert. You can simply do it by coming here and entering in this information. And if you scroll down, you could learn more about how it works. So making money, doing what you love, work anywhere, anytime online, work as much or as little as you want. We welcome all types of experts, so not just maybe if you have business expertise, but it seems like if you have academic expertise, this is the place to go. 
So here's the application process, applying online, they do a background check, and you can start making money. The next one is clarity.fm. I like this one because you get to determine how much money you make per minute. So you can find an expert, but of course we want to be an expert. So you would simply fill out this information on Clarity, join now, it's free. And the cool thing is you get to um, say how much you wanna get paid per minute. So you get paid per minute on this website. You know, maybe you can start off with 25 cents a minute, and then it goes up to $4 a minute, you decide. And um, you know, as you get more and more clients and more and more reviews, you could increase your prices. Here's another one called Call Me For, another way that you can get expert advice and become an expert and get paid. All right, so the next category of websites we're talking about is with translation. So if you want to be able to translate, if you're bilingual, trilingual, this is a great opportunity for you. That first website we're talking about is translate.com. The next one is the te tethra.com. <laughs> Tthras, tthras.com? Oh my gosh. The next one is onehourtranslator.com. The next one is unbabble.com. And the one after that is called textmaster.com. If you're looking to take a skill that you already have and translate different texts, different audiobooks, different scripts that people have, these websites could be a great option for you. And so the next way we're talking about monetizing YouTube and making a thousand dollars and way, way, way more is with affiliate marketing. In my opinion, affiliate marketing is the fastest way to monetize a YouTube channel and the fastest way to make money. And it was the method where back in the day when I was struggling, remember that story where it was one of the worst times in my life, that was how I made the first dollar online or on YouTube. I made $33.50 from an affiliate marketing commission. And so by promoting another person's product or service, when people clicked on my affiliate link that was on my YouTube channel, I generated a commission for helping the company get that sale. And so I just made a super in-depth tutorial about affiliate marketing, about where to start, about affiliate marketing funnels, about what you should look for when choosing an affiliate marketing product to promote. And so I'll leave that video link in the resources in the description for you to check out later. But definitely, it's never, ever, ever too early to start monetizing a channel with affiliate marketing. I don't care if you have 50 subscribers, 200 subscribers, you can certainly start putting your affiliate links in your YouTube channel description right away. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let's continue the fun. Let's continue learning together. I think you're gonna love this video that's coming up right now. If you just click right here, it's about 20 more lazy ways that could realistically generate anywhere from a thousand to $2,000 a week. So let's go and click right here. So today we're back with another lazy way video on how to generate up to $2,000 a week with over 20 different methods that I'm going to explain in this video. And the coolest